welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology and today we are going to talk about cell mediated immunity or cellular immunity. When you talk about cell mediated immunity or cellular immunity there are different components to it. So we need to know about the components of the cell mediated immunity, we need to know the mechanism of cellular immunity and also the clinical relevance of the cellular immunity, how it is done, how exactly the cellular immunity uh, is generated. So basically cell mediated immunity uh, can uh, provide most of the impact in the innate phase but also in the adaptive phase it can provide some responses. So overview of the cellular immunity says that the innate as well as the adaptive immune response can be mediated by the cell mediated immunity and when we say cell mediated we have T cells and other immune cells. Now if you want to talk about the innate part of the cell mediated immunity then we need to talk about many different cells of our immune system like monocytes, neutrophil, eosinophil, basophils and also natural killer cells. Those cells are present in the tissues even before infection. They are patrolling the, the, the bloodstream in the different tissues. If there is infection they are going to rush to the tissue via the chemotaxis mechanism and they are going to initiate the process of death and killing of the pathogen. That's quite normal. That's part of the innate part of the cell mediated immunity. But we are concerned here to talk about the adaptive part of the cell mediated immunity. Where for the adaptive part of the cell mediated immunity, the T cell plays important role. Also B lymphocytes you can say because B lymphocytes are also cell. But the B lymphocyte will have a crosstalk between the cell mediated immunity and the humoral immunity because the B cells are going to be converted into the plasma cell up upon activation. And plasma cells will start producing antibiotics bodies which is a part of humoral immunity. So in adaptive uh, part of the cellular immunity we have T cells playing vital role. The target inter intracellular pathogens, tumor cells and foreign tissues and the essential for the defense, immune regulation and tumor surveillance in our body. So what are the key components of the cellular immunity? As I mentioned earlier the humoral part uh, I mean the the sorry the adaptive part of the cell mediated immunity has T cells in it the CD plus helper CD4 plus helper T cell CD4 plus T cell or helper T cell coordinate the immune response it con it contacts with the B cells which is an antigen presenting cell there it can contact with other antigen presenting cell as well to enhance the production of those antigen presenting cells further that is CD4 T helper cells. There are CD8 uh, T cells known as cytotoxic T cells. They are killer T cells. They kill infected cells, viral infected cells or they kill any cell with tumor properties in it. Okay, And they are CD8. So T helper cells have CD4 in their surface. T cytotoxic T cells have CD8 on their surface. Next is the T regulation cell or T regulatory cells. They suppress excessive immune responses. So T cells not only elicit immune response but also the, there are T cells which can suppress the immune response. They are known as regulatory T cells or T regulatory cells. And T regulatory cells have CD25 on their surface. They might have CD4 or CD8 but they have CD25 uh, in their surface as a recognizer. Okay. Antigen presenting cells are also part of the cell mediated immunity and there are specific cells on dendritic cells, macrophage and B cells are a part of this antigen presenting cells. Dendritic cells and macrophage are already there and uh, they are part of the innate immune system but B cell are the part of the adaptive part of the immune system of the cell cell mediated immune system but adaptive response okay this DC and macrophages dendritic cells and macrophages are part of uh, mostly in an innate response this is for the adaptive response okay uh, and why because the B cells are going to be converted to the plasma cells and plasma cells are going to produce antibodies so they also cross talk to the humoral immunity and there are also cytokines mediators like interleukin 2 interferon gamma tumor necrosis factor alpha also plays a vital role in cell mediated immunity. In fact in cell mediated immunity the cytokines play more important role, more predominant role. In humoral part of the immunity the role is much more specific but is being controlled by antibodies and complement system. But in case of cell mediated immunity cell cell contact is the key and for cell cell contact and interaction cell migration we need cytokines, we need chemokines, so they need interleukin 2, interferon gamma, 
tumor necrosis factor alpha for this process. Next is the mechanism of cellular immunity. How exactly it is done? Antigen recognition is the very first step and the APCs or antigen presenting cells, they represent antigen via MHC class 2 molecules to the T cell and that is very important. And you can see this activation part where we have this macrophage. See the macrophage is nothing but the antigen uh, presenting cell here. Macrophage is a type of antigen presenting cell or APC. It showcases the fragment of antigen which is shown in the red color with the help of MHC class 2 receptor. On the other side T helper cell with the help of T cell receptor or TCR interacts to the MHC class 2 associated to the antigen. Okay, that is the very first thing, the first signal. TCR interacting to the MHC class 2, that is signal number 1. Then comes the signal number 2, that is the co-stimulation, that is done by the CD28 receptor coming from T helper cell and the ligand B7 coming from the macrophage. And with the help of these two signals, signal 1 and 2, the activation is complete. Now there is a effector function that is a signaling between T helper cell and macrophage. Interleukin 12 is being released and T helper cell in turn release interferon gamma to the macrophage and as a result the signaling completes. Okay and uh, on the other hand there is a effector function. So this is the function where we are seeing a macrophage's interaction to the T helper cell and T helper cell means this is CD4 plus T cell but what happens when uh, there is interaction done between CD8 plus T cell. Uh, they induce apoptosis via releasing perforins and granzymes. Perforins will create pores in the membrane and granzymes will destroy the cell. And CD4 T cells secrete cytokines to enhance the immune response. As I mentioned earlier, they release per specific cytokines uh, and among them interleukin 12, among them interferon gamma, tumor necrosis factor alpha plays vital role in terms of activation of further immune cells. What are the functions of cellular immunity? Defense against intracellular pathogens. They target viruses and intracellular bacteria and can kill them. Tumor surveillance. If a cell is undergoing transformation into a cancer, so the cancer cell can be targetedly found and being destroyed. Next is regulation of immune response. The T regulatory cells prevent autoimmunity and excessive inflammation due to the hyperactivity of our immune system because T regulatory cells are going to suppress the activity of our immune system and that is done due to the uh, activity of T regulatory cells. Next is the allograft rejection. Uh, it mediates the organ transplant rejection uh, when we transfer or donate an organ from the donor to the recipient. Okay. And what is the clinical relevance? Diseases. HIV AIDS is a case where CD4 plus T cell depletion is visible. It is really really observed that the CD4 plus T cell is much much less in patients with HIV AIDS. Autoimmune diseases have excessive T cell activity. That's why they have more damage. They cause more damage to our uh, tissues. Next is vaccination. Many vaccines rely on cellular immunity like BCG vaccine or tuberculosis vaccine. Immunotherapy. Checkpoint inhibitors enhance T cell response in cancer. There are checkpoint inhibitors which enhance the T cell responses in the cancer. Okay. And CAR T therapy, CRT therapy that targets tumor cells. Okay. So these are all uh, related relevance to the T cell mediated immunity or T cell mediated uh, means basically cell mediated immunity either we call it uh, the adaptive part or the innate part but they are part of the clinical relevance. I believe we have a clear idea on the cell mediated immunity now the components of the cell mediated immunity and also about the details of the mechanism of the cell mediated immunity with the help of this video. If you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.